Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. In the delicate arena of compliance, every conversation matters. Traditional methods can leave callers feeling unheard, but Ethico changes the game. Our empathetic interview technique reshapes compliance calls into powerful, compassionate interactions, ensuring no crucial detail is missed. It's about creating a conversation that matters, that resonates, that makes a difference. Be the change in your compliance approach. See the transformation for yourself at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo, try our free ROI calculator, and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, the ROI of compliance. The Daily Compliance News for March 14, 2024, the end of TikTok edition. And we begin with that story from the New York Times as the House of Representatives has passed a bill to force TikTok sale from Chinese owner or to ban the app. Why? Because the Chinese are getting personal and private information on U.S. citizens. Um, the bill passed rather uh, with rather strong bipartisan support. Over 360 voted for uh, the new legislation. Of course, now it's to go to the Senate, so who knows where or what the Senate may do, but President Biden says he will uh, sign the bill. President, Former President Trump has come out against the bill. So if you're using TikTok, you might want to think about an alternative platform. Second, from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandeford reporting that U.S. bank regulators are weighing an operational resiliency requirement. Uh, They're exploring new requirements to make sure large banks can weather disruptions to their operations, citing the rise of such challenges such as ransomware attacks on bank footprints as they expand worldwide. Acting controller of the currency, Michael Wee, has said that banks need to address challenges to operations separate from familiar liquidity shortfalls and floated the possibility of testing banks on their resilience going forward. Next up, and the news from Boeing just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse every day. Axios reported that Boeing overrode security footage of repair work on the door plug of an Alaskan Airlines plane that failed during a flight. Why does this matter? Well, the National Transportation Safety Board said in a letter to the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation that the missing footage is hampering its investigation into the accident. The agency said to date, we don't know who performed the work to open, reinstall, and close the door plug. The NTB NTSB said it's unable to interview the crew door manager because he is out on extended medical leave. And our final story comes to us from uh, Reuters, which says the Department of Treasury is trying to get South Africa to up its game in the fight against bribery and corruption. Uh, The Department of Treasury sent its number two official to South Africa to make this plea. And South Africa certainly needs to step up its game, uh, given the fall, continuing fallout from the Gupta brothers and their takeover of the South African government and state-owned enterprises. So, so will South Africa up its anti-corruption game? We'll see. As I mentioned at the start of this podcast, this month's sponsor for the entire Compliance Podcast Network is Ethico. Have you ever wondered how to show the ROI of your compliance program? Have you struggled with the budgeting process, getting the funds you want for your compliance program? Well, I've partnered with Ethico to put together a white paper on the ROI of compliance, which shows you not only how to demonstrate ROI, but also how to speak finance when you're sitting across from the CFO with your budget proposals. Check out the website and Get the white paper. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.